Hey guys, do you want to live in a gorgeous home in the heart of Lake Nona? Well, enough talk. Look at some of this B-roll and let's get right to it. This is the Varen. It is a gorgeous home right here in the heart of Lake Nona at Laurel Point. It is a five bedroom, which is a five to in a five and a half to six to six and a half bathrooms, four car garage, and 5,801 square feet. Base price of this home is $1.4 million. And we it is a gorgeous home. The HOA is 269 per month with a CDD of around 2000 per year. Now Please press the subscribe and alert buttons and let's go see this gorgeous home. Come on guys. All right guys, so let's go see this home. Check this out guys. As soon as you get to the front of the home, we have a courtyard here that tees off to two, two car garages right here on each side. And you can see the four coach lights on each side. Love that. Also, I love the modern look of the home. It's squared off with those terracotta tiles in the slate gray color. We get to the foyer of the home, right? It has this overhang, which is pretty cool, right? And the foyer goes all the way up. Now we have the double doors with your combo lock and let's go inside the home. Now, as you can see, this model is highly, highly upgraded. So I can give you what the upgrades are, but I'd rather that you just call me so we can go over that because it's so much. So I'm gonna just describe the house for you and we have slate ceramic tiles running throughout the whole first floor of the home. You see the double stairways that are gorgeous that line up both sides of the home right over the bridge area right here with these gorgeous chandeliers above. Go ahead, Pam. And the ceiling height is 24 feet. 24 feet is the ceiling height. That is ridiculous. That is amazing. But if you can see, maybe on a B-roll, we have three bay windows on the back side or the front side of the home, right below the two main windows of the home. Now we have a left and a right side. Let's go this way first. Right, this is the utility closet, right? But our first side here is the first entry point for the first garage on the left and there's a little notch out. And then we have this large domestic suite with a window here, cabinets, of course your washer and dryer, folding tables with the hard surface and your utility sink. You can see how big this is, it is amazing. Now backing out, as we pass the stairways again, we're gonna cut all the way across and pass this main elegant foyer once more to the other side of the home and very quickly show you the entry point for our right side garage here. Then it leads into our flex room or office space where of course that space there in front, you can put double doors. Love the way they designed it. Love the day bench here with the window for natural lighting and your built-in bookshelf. Very nice. Now backing up, quickly gonna show you a, another linen closet here. Then we enter the first ensuite of the home. And here is a full bath. Love the tiles in the shower area all the way up as the way it's supposed to be. We had the vanity there, but then we walk into the ensuite bedroom part of the home with the window here, of course. 12 foot ceilings throughout the whole home. So it gives it a more expansive feel. Yeah, I love that. And we also have a closet space, a walk-in closet actually, right in the corner of the room here. Very nice. And guys, follow me through, cause now we're gonna get to the really interesting parts of the home, right? Again, we're gonna keep passing these stairways a couple times, right? As we move towards the main parts of the home, this home 
literally opens up vertically and horizontally. <laughs> this is an amazing home. So guys, this is the family gathering room area. The ceiling height just bumps up to 24 feet. That extends out to the, fir or the foyer that we entered through. So I didn't say that before, but I love how the ceiling height comes over the family gathering room at that height and how the bridge just suspends there. Now that's a TV. <laughs> that's how you do it, <laughs> right? Love the built-ins with the shelves and the top built-ins. I don't know what you're gonna be saving on that built-in up there, but you're definitely gonna need a ladder for it. And I love how the circular couches accentuate the room. It is gorgeous. There is a lot to look at in this home. We're gonna to get to the outdoor space in a minute, but you have another seating area here. So, you know, if you have groups of friends that like to break out in little break, breakout conversations, this is perfect because they can, guys can be watching sports here and other people in the home could be uh, having a nice intimate conversation right here. There's just enough space for it all. Now, the ceiling bumps down to 12 feet again as we're going into the dining areas of the home, including the kitchen. But look at this formal dining area, four windows lining up the walls, very elegant, knee height, and I'm gonna just show you that right here. Knee height is the window space, so giving you more window real estate throughout these four windows with the two sliding doors here, enough space for the cadenza. I am not squinching through, <laughs> right? You do have this rolling into this gorgeous, now gourmet kitchen. This is like for a professional chef. Hard surface tops all throughout the island, also has a hard surface top. This island is? 10 by five. 10 by five, guys. A 10 by five island. People, four people can sit here easily, even more if you needed to. Love that this is a professional um, farm sink with the lap right here with the dark color. Industrial gooseneck, love it. I mean, you got draw for drawers for days, guys. Look, unique drawers, soft slam. You know, you have it for all your needs. The big pots and pans ones are here, right? So you can store everything in this home. Now, take a look at the 42 inch cabinets, right? Because you do have a double stack. And then the ceiling height is so high that there's still a space above that flat crown molding that they have on the top. Going into our uh, top range here, hood range, we have this fire burning because it's a gas community uh, range here with the grill, right? With the griddle. And then you have double ovens here. Love that. So whoever knows how to cook, bake, and all that, this is, this is the setup for you. We have more counter space here, rolling into our convection oven here on the side with more cabinetry and double stacks. And then our pantry space here which is locked up, but we'll take a little peek at it. And then here is our Sub-Zero refrigerator, guys. Look at this, amazing, with the soft lights on the side. This is how it's done, right? Love it. I love the dark color, too. It's really nice. So freezer side, refrigerator side. Pam, you want to say something? Yeah, I've never seen a refrigerator dark. Like yeah, that like in the inside, inside like that? Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's unusual. So we have another serving area here. This could be your coffee area, right? We have more double stacks, 42 inch cabinets and more on the bottom with that ashwood look. Now we're rolling away from the kitchen. We're gonna come across to this little alcove here before we go across the home. And in this alcove, we have the Harry Potter room, first off, right? It's just a straight shot under the stairs so you can have storage for whatever you need. Now I guarantee you the home won't have a window so they can see your Christmas lights. That'll be just a regular door, but this is just to show you what it looks like. And as we roll off to this little alcove of the home, I'm gonna move out the way because we have a little sitting study area here with a powder room on the opposite side of that. All right guys, now rolling back this way Stay with me, guys, because we have so much to show you. 
Here is the second Harry Potter room. Yes, I said it. The second Harry Potter room. Maybe this is for Ron Weasley. I don't know, you know. So here it goes down to the back, just the same as the opposite side. So there is a twin on that. That is amazing. Coming into this section here, into our primary owner's retreat. Now, guys, you can see lots of furniture space fits in here very easily. They did well with another big TV. That's how you do it. And what's the size of this owner's retreat, Pam? This is 20 by 17. 20 by 17. And am I right that the ceiling still extends to 12 feet? Yes, well you have the tray which gives you another foot. Another foot, so that's 13 feet of ceiling height with the ceiling, I mean with the room space. That is a lot of room, guys. That's why this king size bed looks like a twin in here because I'm sure you can't see the translation of space on the camera, but it's very big. Now we have three windows for natural light. Go ahead, Pam. Yeah, regarding the windows, I like that they did the transom on top and then the windows on the bottom open up. I agree. The transom on the, yeah. So much light. Yes, yes, it lets in. And they did it on both, on all four, right? Yes. On, well, on the three set and then these two. That's nice. Yeah, I do, I agree with Pam. The, it lets in a lot of light. I love transom windows because that's the purpose, to let in all the light. Love the chandelier with the bubbles. It matches the ones in the living room area, but we're gonna spin out to this way here. All right, guys. And what we come upon is the his and hers closet space as we hit this hallway. So take a look at that. And then my voice is gonna start to echo. Echo, echo, echo. <laughs> the reason why is there's so much tile in this retreat bath that it's insane. We got, look, the soaking tub right in the middle, the way it's supposed to be, with a grand shower all the way, using almost all this, the width space of this bathroom and the tiling to match all the way up. That's so much tiling. But if you come this way, go ahead, Pam. It, that shower is not grand, that's massive. Massive. <laughs> it's 16 by 14. So 16, 16 by, by 14. Excuse and me. that's the whole 16 bathroom. By four. 16 by four. Just the shower. Just the shower, Just 16 the shower. by four. <laughs> yes. We have a transom window on the back side of the shower there as well. And then we have one vanity here with the window on the right, with your sink, right? Coming this way. You do have your commode space here. And then we're gonna spin around and see the other vanity with the seating area and the sink with the dual mirrors on that side. Very nice, very nice. All right, heading out of this room. Guys, stay with me. I think it's time to head upstairs. Am, am I correct, Pam? We hit everything up down here? Yes. Okay. So guys, just one more look at the foyer space. If, if you could see from this area right here, right? And then I'm gonna meet you on top of this bridge right here. So give me a second. All right, guys, so here we are on the top of the home. I love this foyer area again with the lights in the middle, but what are you doing down there? Come up here, guys, come on. All right, guys, so welcome to the upstairs part of this home. So we're gonna go this way, right? As we go towards the stairway here where the foyer is on to our right, we head down another hallway and look at the floors, guys. It is upgraded, engineer hardwood, dark wood. And then we have two bedrooms here hidden away on this side of the home. So let's go to the one on the right, which is a ensuite for the princess of the home. So of course, look at this. The ceiling height stays here at 12, which is gorgeous. Then we have the window for transom lighting that overlooks the back of the home, right? full-size bed, all this furniture fits very well, enough for a desk right here, beautiful mirror, but we have a walk-in closet to the right. And then, <laughs> and then we have our ensuite here, which is the bath, the full bath with the tiles going all the way up, love that slate tile. 
We have the vanity with the hardwood, or the hard top surface and the wood cabinets. Very nice. Then we'll go across the hall where we have another bedroom space here, which is fantastic. Again, with the high ceilings. Go ahead, Pam. Well, the high ceilings are 10 feet. 10 feet, I'm sorry, 10 feet of the high ceilings. We have a long closet here on this side, which is a half step in. The doors are taken away because of the model, just to show you the space. But we have the window for natural lighting, of course, enough space for a desk. And this is also an ensuite. Everybody gets their own bathroom in this side of the home. So here's the ensuite. Love the penny tiles with the vanity and that tile going all the way up. This is a tub setup instead of a shower setup, of course, but I do love that glass tile. As we head back out into the hallway, right? We're gonna come back to the foyer area of the home. Now, the thing is, this whole home is built, in my opinion, around this whole foyer area because it's just grand. And who wouldn't wanna look at this all day long on both sides, right guys? Like, you can look this way and see the water. You can look that way and see your neighbors. It's amazing. But we're not stopping yet. Because when you get to this part of the home, past the second set of stairs, we open up into the loft area of the home, the way that this is designed. And again, this builder is knocking it out the park with these TVs. I don't know what it I love TVs. So another big TV for the loft area. This is the way you should do it. And, and the loft is 17 by 21. 17 by 21. I mean, if you don't have enough friends to fill up this space, this is not the house for you. <laughs> you know I mean, you're going to do everything in this room, right? So, you know, Super Bowl Sundays, all that stuff. But look at this space. Love the built-ins. Love how the desk fits into the corner. I love, 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 love the seating area by the three windows for natural light coming in. Uh, more built-ins on the side here. And as we transition to the back here, we have another linen closet, another full service bath here with your vanity, shower, and commode at the back wall with the window. <clears throat> and then we transition into one more Bedroom here, again, 10 foot high ceilings as Pam indicated before. We have a half step in closet over here on the side. We have, now what I do love is some of these windows, homes and have these bay like windows here for more lighting because the window that they have in the room, it just helps support the natural light coming in. Love it. You see all the furniture that fits. All right guys, so here we are walking out of this bedroom and there's one more thing that we didn't talk about, right? We didn't talk about a area of the home that can be an option, which is the pool area, right? Because you can add that onto the home if you want to or not, but we are gonna go see the patio space which does come with the home. Let's go see that pool area, guys, come on. All right, guys, so here is the outdoor area and of course, Pam. Amazing. Follow us out. My goodness. All right, guys, I got to be real with you. If this is not the setup the Avengers has when they go and hang out at the mansion, then I don't know. They're doing it wrong because you can get this set up for your home, which is amazing. I love how it breaks apart on the top, right? So these walls right above the uh, patio doors and on the other side of the home. All the seating area that you can put in this patio lanai area is gorgeous. Love the tavertine that they laid down on the floor. Amazing. Now again, pool is an option, but the pool is a long run pool with the hot tub on the back and the fire pit. I mean, you have everything in one spot. Love it. With the view, this is killer guys. So this is something that can be built very easily here um, with conservation or water lots, depending on the availability, of course, but this is a great home. Go ahead, Pam. No? No, I just said saying this has all the uh, nature elements. Yes. Fire, water, wind. Yeah, it's like Avatar. <laughs> so guys, this is the Verin home. 
I hope you love this tour. If you have any questions, my number is 407-790-0929. Me and my team are always here to help you. And I will see you guys on the next video. Like and subscribe.